Last year, I enrolled in a boot camp to learn something new and plan to make a career switch. As I've now graduated from that program, I am on the search for opportunities in the UX field. Job searching is never easy. In my experience, it's always a testing season. I get drained, I get discouraged, I doubt, and I can get disappointed. And even after all of that, I've never landed a job that's been completely fulfilling. That said, I am still thankful for those previous jobs because they have matured me in necessary ways. In the past, I've written reflection pieces after finding that new job, but not much stirring it. If anything, it would just be journaling here and there. This time around, I hope to have a continual reflection process and document it through here. So whether it be the interview prep, just my thoughts and feelings, the highs and lows, Whatever the outcome, I want to testify the story of God's goodness and grace. Alrighty, let's get going. Nice. So, it's only been four days, and I'm already feeling a little discouraged. Um, but that's why I'm here to talk about it. So I think as I've been job searching, there's still that side of excitement. But the other side is kind of like... I don't really know what I'm looking for, especially since I don't have a particular specialty right now. Um, so I'm just kind of looking for generous roles. And I think even with work right now, I'm kind of I'm looking forward to that new opportunity. But I think as I've been job searching, I've been kind of placing too much hope in that. It's like, yeah, once I find something that's more fulfilling, you know, it's going to make me happy. But um, I should definitely know that it's not about feeling happy and being fulfilled because of a job, but it's more so that I am fulfilled um, being free and living in who I am as a person. So I think that is something to definitely be challenged in is to guard my heart, especially when I'm having this expectation and um, be able to fight against you know, my own desires, my own timing, because again, it's all about uh, trusting in what God can provide. Checking in a week after I saw the job search. Um, yesterday, I just finished my last session with my mentor from UX Academy. We did a good closing, kind of prepared me for the next part, which is career services. Uh, I just finished up my session with my career service mentor, talking about applications, interview prep, and things like that. Speaking of which, I was supposed to have a phone screening next Friday, but I just found out that it got canceled. Um, basically, they said that the role was put on hold, so they're pausing interviews. So it's a slight bummer. It's hoping to get some early practice in, but I guess I'll have to wait. This isn't necessarily job search related, but I just got off a spontaneous call with a good friend of mine, and uh, we were actually initially talking about a product that we're trying to release. Uh, it's like a budgeting app, but trying to help people rethink how they view money. Anyways. Besides that fact, um, yeah, we kind of talk about like dream casting and you know having a vision, uh, especially like as I am looking for a job, trying to figure out a new career. That a uh, career doesn't have to be limited to what you're doing on a day to day basis, um, but really, uh, just even in someone's experience in UX or someone's experience in development or law, um, you know, you're you have different passions, and whether it be creating something that can help other people or just creating this opportunity for many people of different interests to work towards a specific vision. Uh, I think that was really exciting about our conversation and yeah, we'll see where that goes with that and you know, it's exciting. Um, so yeah, definitely looking forward to that you know, in the end, I'm not limited, we're not limited to what our jobs are, um, but we can do so much more beyond that. What's up? It has been one full month since the job search has started. Not much has changed since then, so it's time to switch up the strategy. Um, I'll be meeting with some mentors, doing some networking events, and just learning from other designers about their experiences in the field, so hoping that that will give me some insights on how to approach this whole job searching. But other than that, keep on applying. Last time I appeared on camera, I talked about being more intentional with networking and fortunately I was able to build some uh, quick mentorships and even meet with other designers as well. So uh, just hearing their insights into what it's like to be in the field or even for those who are just starting out and 
how they're approaching the process. Um, also, I was able to uh, get connected with the uh, local design community, so it's been helpful to be able to uh, try to see about different job opportunities um, locally uh, with what I'm looking at as well. Someone had made a post yesterday about a new job opportunity, so it uh, turns out I had applied for that job at the end of January, but I just figured might as well try it again. Uh, so I reached out and he said, yeah, definitely apply again and also include uh, more examples of your work. Um, so since the boot camp, I haven't really done much new designs, so I kind of saw this as a challenge to do something new and did this self-imposed 48-hour design challenge. Uh, so with that, I just thought about uh, what are different current needs that people might not have information to or accessibility and just thought about the current water crisis in Texas. Um, just even getting information out there might be through social media or news outlets, but for someone who might be searching on the web, they want to just find that quick information, uh, something that might be visual too. So with that, I kind of thought, okay, maybe representing that as a map, uh, like Google Maps. So what I've done here is designed a water boil notice kind of um, warning thing. And you can kind of see more information if you click that. You see, okay, this area is not safe. What are more uh, reports about it and things like that. So it's new, it's different, uh, but also helping me think critically and also how might I design for uh, better opportunities as well. So this morning I saw there's an opening for an apprenticeship at the company I'm currently at. So I just applied for it. I uh, did get word that there's multiple spots open and at least I meet the basic qualifications. So hopefully a better chance, but we'll see. So job searching has been a little slow lately just because I've been helping renovate the space that I'm in right now. But I leave Austin today and we find back to Seattle. So once I get back, it's back on the grind. One challenge with job searching is understanding what kind of progress you're making. In my case, I haven't seen much progress, so definitely there are areas for growth. And uh, just speaking with a mentor earlier this month, she gave very insightful challenges and just applications as well. So what she suggested was just make uh, small small goals. Uh, just see that I this is an area that I can grow, I can expand in, and this is what I'm going to do to meet that. So in this case, um, even as I've been kind of documenting my journey, I'm hoping to use this as a accountability method as well. Uh, so last week I've already uh, revamped my portfolio. I added a new case study as well. This week I've been doing some competitive analysis with other uh, junior designers and seeing like what areas that they're doing well that I'm lacking in and how can I uh, make my portfolio stand out but also be more effective as well. So yeah, we'll see you the next few weeks. Weekly check-in time. Today I've made some vast improvements in terms of my resume and LinkedIn. One feedback I had gotten was that my resume wasn't telling enough of what I've done as a designer, which is true. I don't have that much experience, but I've added some of my project work as well as uh, rephrasing my previous job descriptions to uh, be more reflective of how a designer would think and make process improvements. Hello, it's the end of the work week, closing out with the run by the seashore. In this week of job searching, it's honestly been challenging. Uh, just thinking about and trying to hope for certain things but still being reminded and challenged at the same time that a lot of it is about being patient, uh, waiting for God's timing, but still being diligent at the same time. So um, even as I'm being reminded in previous trials I've faced in the past that sometimes it's going uphill and I don't know what the end of the hill is, but you know, once you kind of see how God is working, shaping things, you continue to trust in Him and He'll be your endurance and provider, so that's the reminder. People say networking is important, and that's something I'm not so great at. So this past week, I've identified some companies I'd be interested in and reached out to designers from those companies. So I have at least one call scheduled. We'll see how it goes, but at this point, kind of putting myself out there and seeing what comes out of it. It's been a long week. Uh, over the past four days, I spoke with various individuals from designers to recruiters to developer um, and it's been challenging uh, kind of taking all these different feedbacks but it's helpful too um, one in particular um, still trying to process of how to proceed but it's like one of those things where 
you hear you know something in your mind but it's not until someone else says it that you're like uh, i need to take this advice uh, so that's kind of how i'm proceeding now is like be able to take more design type challenges or just um, hackathon just build up my experience because really that's one thing that i'm lacking as a newer designer um and just even i just got off conversation with someone who's trying to do a new project and it's a lot to take in and i think i think um my mind initially is like oh man this is a little overwhelming i don't know how i'm gonna handle this but at the same time i know that you know if i shy away from a challenge even if it's not a job how can i build to take on these bigger challenges should i go into the workplace like in design so yeah i just need to organize my thoughts buckle down and be able to uh, take these things one by one and i also got a take-home design challenge so that's my first goal for this busy weekend. Two weeks later, I'm back. Last week, got my second dose, good to go. Uh, but since then, I've had calls with two various recruiters for different opportunities, and my youngest brother is also in town. So on top of a busy work season, take home assignment, planning jobs, other things in life, it's getting busy. Camera battery died, but one last thing they want to share from this past week was learning to not control certain situations. Um, basically, there was a job application that I was waiting to hear back from, and I was really tempted to try to force my way, uh, try to get, you know, take control of the situation, but ultimately the challenge was, you know, let it go, and eventually they got back. So I think, you know, that was a temptation that, even with job searching, I want to take control of, you know, how things are going, but ultimately knowing that God is in control. He's going to allow the breakthroughs to happen. And ultimately, I just need to surrender that, give him full access and let him uh, do his thing. I just need to continue to have faith in the meantime and um, live in that way as well. It's June. It's been six months into job searching. I'm still searching. I had some recent leads fall through, but that's okay. I just wasn't the right time, wasn't the right fit either. So I think the challenge that I've been faced with recently is continue to be obedient, whether it be my current role or just relationships. So in the meantime, still stay faithful and continue running. I just had a phone interview. It went well, I think. I was able to communicate you know, my goals and hopefully it's a good fit to move on. So we'll see what's next. Last week, I had a screening with another company and they followed up saying that they want to continue with the interview process. Now, when I first started job searching, I made a vow of myself saying that whenever I get an interview, I am going to shave. So now's the time to say goodbye to this. Oh, clean. Back to interview prep. <sighs> Today is interview day. Uh, I don't know why I feel particularly nervous about it, but I just need to calm and collect myself. And then afterwards, I'll talk about how it went. Interview's all done. I think leading up to it, I'll just I guess concerned about certain things and more so I think the fear of an opportunity not working out especially going through job searching almost seven seven months now so that way did not go in the timeline that I was hoping or kind of expected um, but at the same time I, I'm just being challenged again to continue to continue to be obedient especially with where I am now, whether it be work, uh, locationally as well. I think it's so easy for us to kind of think ahead and it's not wrong to, but I think once we are kind of sold on this, this ideal that we have, you know, anything else that kind of comes in the way can be disheartening. So I think, again, moving forward, and I think something I've been praying for as well, is just continue to stay um, emotionally in check in terms of where I am and just let God handle the rest however I can be in terms of obedient and be a diligent steward and uh, that's something I can do can, can, and control now so whenever that next opportunity comes up that door will open and be able to go in that faithfully. Just a few moments ago I got an email with a job offer 
for a company that I've been interviewing for the past few weeks. Uh, so definitely there is a sigh of relief. Um, that burden is a little off knowing that there is an opportunity, but at the same time, I still need to consider things and I just seem to pray about more importantly. So I'll kind of let that mellow out and then update in the next couple of days or so. It's only been 30 hours and a lot of things have been felt and considered. Um, so honestly, I feel really weak and incapable. I think it's so easy, especially during the low moments, to just want to stay in those, uh, that feeling and those thoughts. But I know that even though I might be weak, that um, it's God who is the one who's providing that strength and really just yeah, despite these feelings, despite these thoughts, um, that I need to really rely upon God's strengths to just stand up and be able to move on. Um, so I'm still in the process of considering this opportunity. Um, and I think just at this point, it's like, I don't want to just keep waiting on a decision, just being stuck in that point, but be able to make a decision move on and move forward with it. Well, right now I'm in the midpoint of my end of the work week run. Um, just actually had an interview today with a different company. So right now I'm waiting on two different things. One, negotiations from the midweek offer and just two, waiting to hear back from this interview. So still processing things, but kind of at this point, just waiting uh, once there is a result, once there is an offer, uh, be able to move on from there and if that's the right fit uh, moving forward with that so yeah just gonna try to take it easy this week um, take some time to just some self-care and get ready for what's coming up next a decision has been made i've put my two weeks in and will soon be starting a role in austin texas of course there's still paperwork to sign so once that's complete it'll be officially official so in the meantime I just be able to reflect upon um, this season of job searching, uh, lessons I learned from it, especially uh, near the end of that decision making as well. So, yeah. And here we are, back where it all started. As I close out this video, there are at least two topics I want to talk about. The first is a reflection. I'm definitely grateful that I have been able to still work and job search at the same time because there is at least this comfort knowing that I have a means of sustaining oneself. At the same time, I also need to step out of my comfort zone and just network and make connections. But through those opportunities, I was able to gain insights, advice, and just be able to learn from people who've been in the field. Aside from these career tips, how was I doing emotionally and mentally? There are definitely dips here and there, but I think the main reminder I've been giving myself is to continue to stay patient and wait for the right time. At the same time, being patient isn't sitting around idly, but taking initiative in the ways that I can. So for example, that water design challenge I did back in February, that actually became a talking point in many of these interviews later on. And when I was designing it that same, at that first time, I didn't think about what it would look like in the future. I just thought, you know, I need to find ways to grow right now in the meantime and take the opportunity and those fruits came afterwards. My second and last topic is the future. I landed a role, but it's not over. Um, there's still going to be those growing pains. There's going to be moments of feeling inadequate and even overwhelmed. Even as I was making this decision to go with this role, there was a lot of unknowns and I just felt overwhelmed by needing to make a decision. But now that I've made this decision, I'm at peace with it and I'm ready to go forward with it. There's more to talk about, but I think I've said enough already. This is the end of the job quest for now. Thank you to those who've been journeying with me for the past seven and a half months. I'll see you around.